everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a quiet day, pretty much. I showed you my poncho yesterday. I think it was yesterday I showed mm -hmm. it to you. Well, guess <laughs> what? Jim thinks I'm nuts. But she ripped it out. I ripped part of it out. I didn't rip it all out. And the reason I ripped part of it out is I noticed that it was buckling in the front and in the back a little bit, and I didn't like that, so I have to add an extra stitch to keep the roundness that I want and it's getting there it's almost back to where it was I've got one more skein to put on so it will be back to where it was and I wore it yesterday it was very warm and nice and cozy feeling and it was kind of nice because whenever you get too warm you just can put the sleeves up a little bit or the raise it up off the arms a little bit and you cool off and then when you get too cold you can tuck yourself back in so that's what I did. So that's what's happening with the poncho. Um, I was on a live yesterday on the Lala Farm Live, and they had a question, and I answered the question. You know, I watch a lot of the videos, but a lot of times I forget to comment on things. And I knew which goat they were talking about, and it was kind of fun because nobody knew which goat that they were talking about. And... Jane, you would know the name of the goat. Because <laughs> I named a chicken after that goat, too. <laughs> but um, <laughs> mm -hmm. I think they just say it as Rose, and we do Rosy. So mm -hmm. I think it's the difference. So um, I want a t-shirt anyways. So I'll be getting that when I, when I tell them which one I want. And in case you're watching this one, it's the red one. <laughs> I like the red one. Um, yeah, but which red one? It was the second one in line. Because they could get all kinds of It was the second red. one in line. It was um, the... I forgot what they said underneath the picture. Conventional or... or the, tip, the... No, I don't know what it was called. It was the second one. And that's the one I wanted. I like. <laughs> it just has a little circle here and a little circle in the back. That's it. Nothing too fancy, nothing too plain, just right. Um, we also had to catch a rooster tonight. I caught it. I actually caught a rooster. Jim goes, see, you're better at it than you think you are. Well, I'm a little nervous of these roosters sometimes when, you're, when you catch it. And it's funny how they know. You went into the hen house and it's pitch dark that they're the one that you're after. So I caught them. And the reason I caught him is I, I don't really don't want him hurting my girls. Pretty Boy is real nice to the girls, and this one's a little bit more... Aggressive? He's, he's rambunctious. <laughs> <laughs> he's an excited teenager that's going into manhood, I guess. Anyways, um, I didn't want him to hurt my girls, and every time that he tried, they would squawk terribly. So I don't think he was the gentlest. So I called my brother up. I called my brother Anthony. I said, Anthony, I'm calling for a purpose. I have a rooster. Did you want this rooster? And he says, sure, he'll take him, but he'll take him tomorrow. So I got him in a cage tonight with some nice grass and straw and stuff. So he have a comfy, warm place to lay. And um, he'll come and get him tomorrow. So he'll take him away. So he's going to go to freezer camp, I have a feeling, because that's where he'll probably go, because Anthony doesn't want roosters. He's got, he still has Louise, and um, she's still laying an egg every other day, he said. So she's doing really good. She's a good hen. She was a sweet hen. It's too bad Pretty Boy didn't like her, but she was a very nice hen. Oh, my foot is cramping again. For whatever reason, my yeah. feet cramp. My one foot. Yeah, that's crazy. Um... I have a little video to put in while I fix my foot. <laughs> so let's go to that video. I took Mr. Brown outside for a little while today just to see what he she will do. And um it's not real windy. It's about 35, 36 degrees. It's still pretty chilly, but we'll let her play for a while in the grass and peck around and 
be a little chicken and get a little socializing because I'm not sure if that's what was her problem the other day. She wasn't, she wasn't acting herself. So I thought, well, today she's much better. Today she's doing like she should be doing. But this is, I think, good for her to get outside a little bit. She was eating some green leaves off of one of the plants and the other hens are, are looking. They're kind of curious. They want to see her and this way she'll get socialized with them. This is how I introduced little lady when little lady went into the hen house with the rest of them. Because this summer she might have to spend a little time with them when I go on vacation. I plan to go on a vacation this year. She says, oh, what is this white stuff? I've never seen that before. Oh, I just pooped. Did you see that? And it's a good poop. That's good. Yesterday she had watery poops. Today her poops are back to normal, which is good. She um, tried to lay an egg for two days, didn't do any, and then she did a soft egg. And then she tried again for two days, and she still hasn't had an egg yet today, so we'll see whether she has one today or not. Oh, it's chilly out here, little lady. Or Mr. Brown, where are you heading? I'm gonna check out this icy stuff. It's good for her to walk on the cement. It'll help to grind her nails a little in her beak. Where are you heading? Huh? It's too cold for me. Oh, there's little lady. Well, hello, little lady. You're out and about, too. She, they, they come in and out of the where the water pipe thing is they can get through and they seem to be fine doing that it'll be interesting to see if they try to get in my garden next year when i when i plant it but they seem to stick around right here there's where they go in and out just like that and you I'm going to go in now. Are you going to come in? Oh, it's cold. I'm too cold to be out here. You like it, though, I'm sure. I can look at you through the window. Maybe I'll do that. And this way you can stay out if you want to. Or you're following me, maybe. I'm going to come in. You want to check the greens again? Oh, yeah, he'll have a little bit of greens. I am too cold. Mr. Jim would think... I was nuts because I'm out here with you. You make me come outside, whereas I would have never even bothered to come outside. I guess it's good to have animals because you get forced to do things that you wouldn't do normally. Just like kids. You do a lot of things with kids that you wouldn't do if you didn't have them. And old folks. You do a lot for the old folks too. When my mom and dad were living with me, there was a lot of things I had to do that I would have never dreamed of doing. Well, Mr. Brown, you enjoy the greens. I'm gonna go in for a bit. <sighs> Did you wanna come in too? Come on, if you want to come. Huh? You going to come in? Come on. You can come in. I don't know what you want to do. I think it's time to come in. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Chick, chick. Come on. Yeah, good girl. You come in. I got to pick you up. No, don't go back out. Oh, a girl. Oh. Well, did you enjoy watching Mr. Brown? I took him outside, and he has not stilled. He still hasn't laid an egg for today, so it's been. This will make day three. So I'm hoping everything is okay. He was acting a lot like he used to, where he would follow me around the room and hop up on the desk when I went to get some chicken scratch and. 
he was eating it like it was really delicious, where yesterday he would just kind of peck at it and he wasn't really too interested. And when he would get a drink, I would he would only get a drink because I was over at the water and I was tapping on the water thing and he was drinking because I was there. And um, I gave him some scrambled egg. I know a lot of you think scrambled egg. Yes, I scrambled up an egg and that's high protein for him so it gives him something, some extra strength. And today, acting like normal, pooping like normal. Yesterday's poop was not good. And today it's pooping, his poop looks okay. And so I put a little diatomaceous earth in his food too, just in case he's got a, um, an, a parasite of anything. I don't think he does, but, um, and I put vinegar in his water or kombucha. I put something in there to keep a healthy gut. So everything is better today. He acted more like he should. I think that was everything on my list. And well, yes, then, what? What's the last? Today's what? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Today is the last day of the year. Oh yeah, I didn't do everything. I've got this it's sitting right in my lap. Here I would forget you it. Moved, uh, I underneath. moved it underneath. Is what happened. Okay, today is the last day of the month, so it's time to check your finances. And my finances were pretty good for, even though it was December, but my best month was October. And my October was just over a thousand. And by just a, like $10.56. Whereas my December is 2017 and 19 cents over a thousand. My goal is to be a thousand, approximately a thousand, a thousand two hundred is, is, is tops. So I went over by seventeen dollars and nineteen cents if you figure what I'm trying to aim for. And now January will be bad because January brings in all the taxes and so we'll start out bad. So mm -hmm. now what you should do, it's it starts tomorrow. Be very conscious of your spending and keep track. Find out where it's all going because it's going somewhere, especially if you're running out at the end of the month or near the end of the month. Write down where it's going and you will know where it's going then. And this way you can compare this year. Well, I'm going to compare this coming year with my last January and see whether it's, it should be a little less because I won't have the one house to pay taxes on. So mine will be a little bit less for that reason. And then there's, I won't have to get the stones for the building that I got, that we got last year. I won't have that bill. There's a few things that I did that were extra this year will not be in next year's, but then again, there might be something next year that I'll have. So I want to wish you all a happy new year. And you know what? This year is done, but don't expect the next year to change real like like a blink, like somebody flipped a switch because it's not going to. Just be happy, enjoy, and don't expect it to change a lot because it, you'll be disappointed, and I don't want you disappointed. So just do like you normally would do, and say your prayers. That's all, I guess. Alrighty, bye.